I am here at the Cherry Blossoms in DC. It's my first time here and it's actually so beautiful. The sheer amount of cherry blossoms is insane. They bloomed a little bit early because it's been really warm these days. So today was the only day I could go this weekend or this coming weekend is raining a lot. So I thought I'd check it out for myself and there's a bunch of people here. It is so packed. Lots of people taking photos and videos. It is your photographer's dream. Take your camera um, and just witness the beauty of these cherry blossoms. Yeah, I also wanted to sit down and give you guys an update on how hectic my life has been for the past couple months after I came back from LA. It's been a lot, wedding planning. The wedding is in three months, less than three months, which is crazy. Planning's ramping up. Aaron and I are going through our first walkthrough at our venue next week, which is also crazy to think about. I also wanted to share, I've been struggling with my health anxiety and it's gotten pretty, it was pretty rough the past month actually. Yeah, there was probably a two, three week stretch where I was constantly on my phone, um, looking up my symptoms on Google, on Reddit, going down that spiral train. And that was just not good for my mental health. Definitely not good for my anxiety, just constantly worrying. My mom getting sick and ultimately passing was definitely shook me um, in a lot of ways. My experience with anxiety has been a journey. Although I've always been an anxious person, anxiety was never a big issue for me until these past two years. Always thinking about my health and worrying about getting sick has led me to the darkest of places. Sometimes it felt like it was so paralyzing that I wouldn't be able to focus on things that matter to me. I know I'll never overcome anxiety and that's something I've come to terms with, but I've learned to trust in God to give me peace even during those darkest moments. It is the morning. We just woke up and got ready for our engagement suit. Engagement shoot. <laughs> engagement. Engagement suit. Shoot. Um, that's how tired I am, guys. But we woke up just now. We're getting ready. Hopefully we get some good um, photos in. We are heading towards the Tidal Basin where the cherry blossoms are to get some beautiful shots in. And yeah, right now we have our formal outfits on. We have our casual outfits in the bag for our second location but yeah hopefully we get some pretty beautiful shots um, and i can make you feel closer baby one more time i can really feel you closing in i stayed outside We are about to meet a new friend, Hi. Stanley! We're about Hi. to meet a new friend, a new furry little friend. He's coming. He is coming. Oh, no, he's so small! Hi! Oh my god, he's so cute. Hi! Hi, buddy! Hi, buddy! Are you scared? Hi! Oh, hello, oh my god, you're so small. Hello, hello. 
So Doris and her husband Stanley got a new dog. A little Frenchie named Chapo. Oh my god, my hair. Oh my god. So cute. Oh my god. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey Yoda. Come on. <laughs> like, no. hey, Yoda. Come Chapo. Hey Yoda. Come on. I'm calling you Yoda. Hey, yeah, come on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> He's doesn't like Yoda. <laughs> no, he's gonna be used to it. Right? 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 You gotta talk to him in Spanish. No. They named him after a drug lord named El Chapo. He'll become a legend like El Chapo. Isn't he cute? Say that to the camera. Hi, Chapo. Chapo. Got some weight to him. Mm -hmm. He's heavier than Toby. What you got to say for Chapo here? Good boy. He's a good boy. For right now. For now. Yeah.